welcome to this video guys in this video we will be designing this link of the robotic arm this is a series of video and i am making a playlist i will provide the link of the playlist in description you can watch the other videos as well so right now open a part file and here make sure that mmgs or millimeters are selected as units click on front plane click on sketch select a circle and make a circle at this origin now select smart dimension and specify the diameter of the circle specify here 55 millimeter now go to features and select extruded boss base because we are converting it into the 3d object 5 millimeter this is the thickness now let's specify some color you can apply any appearance just drag it here and select here part and the appearance will be applied on the whole part now I want this right plane so select this right plane that cut this part into half it can be probably different in your case it really depends select here plane this is the right plane guys you can select here as from here as well like this and here specify 27.5 millimeter as the distance check this box and a plane at 27.5 millimeter will be created you can stretch here this is an optional stuff but you can do it select this plane and click on sketch now here select a center line and make a horizontal line like this now let's specify the length of this line let's specify as 23 now select here 3 point arc find this point first second and third click here anywhere like this and now select the three point arc again first point second point and third point internal like this now select smart dimension and specify the radius of these arcs this is 70 millimeter press escape button now select this point guys and select this first relation that is tangent now press control button select these two points make relation horizontal press control button select these two points make relation horizontal and then select this mirror entities select these two curves and in this window select this line and here you can see these two curves are mirrored and now select a circle and make here a circle press control button select these two points and make relation horizontal so that they can be in line now specify the diameter of the circle the diameter of the circle is 80 millimeter now select smart dimension tool again select these two points and specify the, di the distance between these two points as 110 millimeter press escape button select these two points the point and the circumference and make this relation coincident now select these two circle while pressing the control button and make relation horizontal and here select a line to complete the sketch now select trim entity select this power trim and trim this like this and now select smart dimensioning tool and specify the radius of this line now the sketch is fully defined you can see sketch should be fully defined else it can be problem problematic but you can still work and here I want to extrude it in this direction although the, you can change direction as well 15 mm so this sketch has been extruded up to 15 mm now select this plane and hide it because there is no use for now select this face and click on sketch and here select offset entities and select all of these curves and lines and here specify reverse 
and here you can see now it's internal sketch check this box from here and all of these things have been converted this is a great tool here and now extrude it up to uh, 1 mm and now guys select this face and click on sketch convert entities and specify this internal face this internal face make sure that you have selected this internal face and just check this box from here and here you can see the sketch has been completed now extrude this and here specify the length of extrusion i'm specifying four and check this box and here you guys you can see a groove has been created now select this face and click on sketch and convert entities one more time you can see this sketch is already created and uh, let's extrude it and here specify the length of extrusion and since i want the extrusion at a specified angle so here specify the angle 55 degree and let me show you this is the angle of extrusion this is called as draft angle you can uncheck it from here just to see now this is flat and when you enable it this is 55 degree draft check this box from here and this is extruded boss with the draft angle as 55 degree now select this face and click on sketch and here select a center line for the reference make here a center line like this make sure that it is really straight and uh, now select this line and make this horizontal straight line press escape button and now specify the length of this line uh, sorry the distance between these two lines three millimeter and the length of this line six millimeter now mirror about this horizontal line as you can see this line has been mirrored else i have to make the other line on the other side as but mirror entities make life easy make a three point arc and specify the radius here make a three point arc and make sure this is on the external side let's specify the angle five radius now select extruded cut this time because i want to cut it from here here specify 6.5 mm as extruded cut depth and now i want to make a hole here so select this face and click on sketch here make a center line for the reference from this point to this point select the circle and find the midpoint of this center line this is the purpose of the center line that's it because we want a center point specify 3 mm diameter of the circle and definitely extruded cut because i want to make a hole for the bolts and this is the extruded cut and now i want to make a pattern so select the circular pattern from here and here specify a circular edge not the face circular edge in this features to uh, pattern select these two cuts and a 45 degree angle make sure that equal spacing is not selected the other option is selected direction to also enable it here specify 45 degree angle and make here two patterns check this box from here and circular pattern is applied here you can see and now i want to mirror the same stuff on the other side <coughs> so how i can do it select this face and click on sketch convert entities before mirroring let's make another extruded boss here now select the trim and trim these extra lines and now select extruded boss base here and specify the length of extrusion here specify 40 millimeter the length of extrusion and simply check this box from here and now i want to make a mirror and for that mirror i need a plane so select this face and this face in these two faces a plane will be created like this so check this from here 
select mirror this is the mirror tool this plane is already selected let me delete it you can select it from here let me delete it from ag again and you can select either from here as well all the option this should be empty and since i want bodies to mirror make sure that you have select enabled this bodies to mirror window and here we have the body that is mirrored and uh, now select this face and click on sketch to make a shaft here make here a center line for the reference center lines are only for the reference they do not have to do anything for the sketch for the extrusion make a circle and air specify 30 millimeter as dia and let's extrude it up to 20 millimeter it's done and uh, now i want to cut a hole here and I, I will mirror it so select this face and click on sketch trace the center point for to make a cir circle at the midpoint here specify the diameter of the cut as 20 and let's extrude it cut here here specify the depth of extrusion as 10 millimeter and simply check this box from here as i want the same hole on the other side either we can i can make it or i can mirror it so select here this plane for the mirror which we have created few minutes ago and in this features to mirror select this hole and it is mirrored here so the link is created if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video